Someone created a Blender add-on to create procedural eyes, but it costs money, so I'm going to teach you how to do it for free. To start off, create a UV sphere and rotate it so one of the poles is in the front. As you can see in this reference image, the cornea bulges outwards, so delete the vertices in the poles, create a sphere, and scale it until it matches the cornea. Then go back to the eye and grid fill the hole. Activate snap to face, project individual elements, and snap to the cornea. Duplicate the cornea and scale it negatively so it inverts and move it backwards so it forms the iris. Scale it if necessary. Apply a subsurf modifier and your eye is now done. Now for cartoon eye materials. The cornea is made of the gradient texture node. Control T adds a texture coordinate and mapping node. Set the gradient texture to spherical and move the white point so it matches the cornea. Add a color ramp to sharpen the transition and plug the color ramp into the transmission. Play with the other settings. I set roughness to zero so the cornea is clear. In Eevee, to make it transparent, enable screen space reflections in material and render settings. For the iris, we are going to be doing the same thing as the cornea. Assign the geometry to a new material and use the gradient texture node with texture coordinates set to object. Use the color ramp to create a pupil. For the muscle, duplicate the mapping node and insert a mix RGB node. Add a noise texture and set the factors to something small like 0.4. Now our mapping is wobbly. Add a Voronoi texture, scaled up, set the mapping node to normal, and set Z scale to either a high number or zero. Add a color ramp, set to B spline, and nudge the stops inwards a little. Connect the muscle to the pupil with mix RGB set to overlay. Now you might want to add a shadow or some other variation in the iris colors. So to create this, duplicate the pupil nodes and slide the white bit to be lower and bigger, and then use a mix RGB set to multiply to connect them. The nodes can be separated into three sections, shadow, pupil, and muscles. For the final touches, in the iris, add a value node and connect it to the pupil. Set it to one for the default. You can change the value to change the size of the iris. On a sclera, ambient occlusion doesn't work with screen space reflections in Eevee, so you can fake AO with a gradient, using the mapping node to make it oval. Realistic eye materials. The cartoon eye materials are used as a base. On a sclera, a new gradient texture and color ramp combo is included. The main reason this exists is to stop the veins from covering the cornea. Color it a shade of red. Next, the veins. Use the noisy vectors, the same thing used in the iris and connect it to a Voronoi texture. Add a color ramp, make the white bits look like veins, and add a mixed RGB set to overlay. Put the gradient into the top slot, color the bottom slot red, and the veins go into factor. For the bump map, duplicate the gradient texture and make the veinless parts black. Then put in a bump node, reduce strength and height. Now for the iris, delete the muscle nodes and create new nodes. All of them have color ramps. A spherical gradient texture, the inside should be white. A noise texture and a mapping node. Increase Z scale so it swirls. This is the color red. A new mapping node with normals and scale similarly to the iris muscles. Connected to two more noise and color ramp nodes. One noise texture is scaled higher than the other. Use a mix RGB node with the color reds and the top noise texture. And use a second mix RGB with the color red in the first slot, the smaller noise texture in the second slot, and the gradient in the factor. Duplicate the color ramp of the iris, make it grayscale, and use a mix RGB set to multiply to create the bump map. The iris texture can be brought back to the overlay node for the color.